get you from a new angle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good morning. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Chair Yoga class. I'm Olivia. Let's get started. All right, sit against the back of your chair, if you will. Let's take just one little stretch. It's just like when you climb out of bed in the morning. And all the way down, feet down, hands down. Press that spine into the back of the chair. Give it one little massage. Take that deep breath in. And exhale. Allow yourself to be present. Remembering the body thrives on movement. The brain thrives on stillness. And so for right now, just some stillness. Our society has it all backwards. But right now, <clears throat> a little bit of stillness in the body will translate into the mind. So come to your happy place, come to a place of peace. Your teeth have unclenched. And that translates into the shoulders. The core muscles. The legs, the feet. Take a very deep breath in. And on an exhale, let your eyes just drift open. Soft gaze. Scoot yourself out to the edge of the seat. Come into seated mountain pose. I'm going to take my hands on my thighs. You can take them down. And then a little tip in the head, chin down towards the chest. Come over to the other side. And then imagine you were just going to touch the wall behind you with the back of the head. So it's not going to fall back. It's just a little tap. And then the other way. Same thing. And just that little tap. And go the other way. One more. And then let your head rest atop your shoulders, nice and tall. And with your nose, make this figure eight sign right in front. Um, figure eight. Yeah, I guess that's uh, the infinity sign. So you're going to drop the nose down, up, around, and then the other side. And that's when you begin to feel a little bit of that crackling in the neck. So as long as there's no pain, you get into some different muscles, I think, when I do this, that my activities of daily living don't take me into so I just like this okay one more time all right and again head rests on top of the shoulders let's take shoulders a little range of motion here so first we're just going to lift them up by the ears shrug your shoulders flex the wrists and then push down 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 there's a lot in there so work towards that inhale inhale it comes up and exhale 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 all the way down two more by pushing the shoulders down you're going to reconnect the ribs to the hips and get that good strong exhale I'm not sure if that was one or two, so let's take one more. And down. All right, the next range of motion is forward and back. So reaching forward, I'm going to keep my spine upright, but I'm going to reach forward as if I was going to reach underneath a little baby. And then pull the shoulder blades back, keeping the arms straight. You're going to let them touch behind your back. Inhale, reach forward. They separate. And exhale, they draw back. Still up nice and tall. This is just shoulder movement, so I'm really asking you to just to isolate this shoulder joint. And again, pull back. One more time. And back. All right, then we're just going to roll the shoulders around. Maybe even one at a time. Yeah, just let them sort of rest. Oh. All right, all right, very good. So we get into the middle back, deep breath in, 
Scoop the belly and just round the entire upper back. And then inhale, come back, hands back at the crease of the hip and lift the heart. I'm gonna take the gaze up, don't let it fall back. Exhale, round, dome that upper back. Inhale, come back. Tuck the elbows in. Imagine they were gonna to touch behind your back. Exhale. And then inhale, lifting up. All right, deep breath in. Let's move further down in towards the hips. So I'm gonna hinge forward, a little tuck in your chin, and then inhale, we halfway rise. Heart comes forward, reach into chair pose. From here, let's come into powerful pose. So I'm gonna stay in this hinge position. Pressing the elbows back. This really, this posture in the arms encourages um, a good posture. Sit up tall now. You should still be in that nice tall spine. Deep breath. Let's go again. Hinge forward. Little tuck in the chin. You don't need to go all the way down to the thigh muscles. Inhale, heart forward. Reach into chair pose. Pull the arms to goal pose. And then sit up nice and tall. All right, let's take the overhead scanner up here. Elbows come down towards the hips. And again, we reach, maybe the thumbs will touch, and back down. Again, one at a time. If you have an arm that doesn't work quite like the other one does, that's okay. You don't feel like you have to use it. All right, coming up, we're going to clasp the hands together and then bring them all the way down. Deep breath in. We're going to turn to the right. Nice little twist. Come back to the front. Exhale, turn to the left. And now we're going to wash the wall over on the right side. And then over on the left side. Yes, very nice. Rotating that spine. You want to feel the sit bones right underneath you so there's not a lot of movement in them. They're holding nice and firm, planted on the chair. Okay. One more. And back. All right, leave that left arm there, followed by the right. And let's rotate in the uh, wrists, into the elbows, and then into the shoulders. more. Nice. All right. Last one. Palms up. Bring the elbows in and bring the hands together. Let's just rotate them out right there. Just rotator cuff movement there. Yeah. Very nice. All right. One more time. All right. Left hand here. Shove that. Uh-uh. That is right hand. Let me back that up. Right hand. Right thumb. Reach that left arm up and up and around. And then it's come right past the heart here and reach over. Lean into it if that feels good to you. You always should have that navel drawn in towards the spine. Tuck the chin if you'd like. One more time. And back. And I am going to use my left hand on my left thigh. Take the same thing here. Shove over a little tuck in the chin. Up and around. It's going to come right past the heart. Reach. So maybe that stretch into the low back a little bit now. Two more. And last one. All right, hands on the thighs. Take the feet wide. I need to get my hair clip on now. Okay, so being careful with the wrist right here, I'm gonna sort of turn my knees in. I'm gonna bring the uh, left shoulder towards the right diagonal, looking about four feet beyond. Come to the center, squeeze the shoulder blades inward. And then as we go to the other side, let that shoulder come over to the side and then sit up nice and tall. So I, I kind of like to imagine that I have an eyeball right here on my shoulder and I'm trying to look over that way, okay? <laughs> so maybe that image works for you, maybe it does. Let's go over to the right first, deep breath in. Exhale, let that eye look over there. Back to the center, shoulder blade squeeze. To the other side and come right back up. Just careful on your wrist here. And again, let's see if we can roll through this nice and smoothly, shoulder blades together. Other side, come right back up. Again. Shoulder, blades together, shoulder over, and let's reverse it and go this way. Shoulder, blades together, shoulder, and come back up. Be sure you spend time and draw your shoulder blades together. You're going to lift it up, and then you pull them back, and then you go the other way. All right. Nice deep breath in. Feet together, forward fold, halfway rise, circle sweep. And from here, come into our goalpost arms, elbows back, knuckles back, and reach to the ceiling. All right, right knee comes in and back down. Okay, and then up, down. 
Turn the forehead, scoop the belly towards the knee. <coughs> A little core work. We'll get some core work on this as well. Okay. One more time. Now, as if you were going to get out of the seat, go ahead and sit back into it, but sit on your hands. If you were going to get out of the seat and use your hands, you would come this way and you'd lift the hips up, right? You feel those core muscles fire on when you do that. So here we go. Don't get up. Just fire on the abdominal muscles, all right? Pull that navel in towards your spine. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, oh no, I'm not going to get back up, right? <laughs> Use your hands there. <laughs> and <laughs> one more, does that make you sneeze? <laughs> okay, now we're going to go the other way. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift our, I guess I can still keep this on. We're going to lift our knees, our feet up instead uh, this way. Knees up. Rock back on the tailbone, okay? Rock back. Lift them up and fire on those abdominal muscles. Rock back. Yeah? You should feel that? Yes? Good. Okay. And again, I think this is a, this um, is against silver sneakers. Because <laughs> both feet off the ground. But I think it's a great exercise. All right. One more time. And then all the way up. Okay. Back out to the edge of the seat. Now we're going to wake up the feet a little bit. So lift up the right foot and then just let it drop to the ground. And then the other side. And let it drop. <laughs> I might go a little easier on that foot. Okay. So if you have, you know, some neuropathy in your feet, it's a great way to kind of shock the feet. <laughs> yeah. Just let it be dead weight. If you have shoes on, this is easier to do, that's for sure. And again, one more time. All right, deep breath in. Hands back to the heart. We're gonna get ourselves up out of the chair. If you need to use the chair, that's okay. Here we go, all the way up. Reach to the ceiling. And arms are in front of your face here. Let's keep the heel of the hand together. Over to one side. Oh, nice side stretch. And then over to the other side. Nice side stretch. Let's come to those goal post arms that encourage good posture. You can feel that, I'm sure. Little soft bend in the knee. Tailbone drawing to the ground. Reach to the ceiling. Forward fold and halfway rise. Heart comes forward, belly in, and we circle sweep all the way up. All right. Arms down. Got a drink of water. Go around to the back. That's what I'm missing. I have to grab my water. Okay. All right. So we'll come around to the back of the chair. A little balance work here first. And so come into our mountain pose. Heels right underneath the sit bones. Those for the most part are facing straight ahead. As you draw that tailbone to the ground, you'll feel the little soft micro bend in the knees, and that's really what we want. Your shoulder heads draw to the side walls, so you want to feel that chest go as broad as you possibly can. Navel drawn in toward the spine, lift the pelvic floor. And then what I want you to do is push the weight onto the toes. So lean into your chair. You feel those toes fire on when you do that, right? Okay, and then come right back up. Now, use the chair if you need to. I'm just going to transfer the weight back towards my heel, so maybe I can lift the toes. I'm not leaning back that far, but if you feel like you're going to fall, by all means, get that chair handy. All right? And then come back up, and then I'm going to transfer the weight over to the left outside edge of your foot. Yeah. And then come to the other side. Same thing, your right outside edge. <laughs> It's, it looks so funny, as it looks like the room's sort of doing, moving like this. All right, back to the front. Let's go forward towards the toes. Fire on those feet. And back up. Transfer the weight back just a wee bit. Hands by the chair if you need it. Lift the toes if you can. My back is still straight, so my hips aren't sticking out. My back is still straight. And then a little transfer over to the left. And then over to the right. If you're a skier, you know how to do that. Try to keep that body straight. Try to keep the body straight. Yeah. And back. All right. And let's just move the feet there a little bit. Very nice. So a little balance work. All right. Back to downward facing dog. Heel of the hand on the chair. Push into it. And step on back. A little wiggle in the fingers there. Turn the tailbone to the back wall. Lowering the heart between the arms there as best you can. But soften the knees. Draw that tailbone to the back wall for a really nice stretch. 
take a deep breath. Okay, this is downward facing dog. We're gonna come into upward facing dog. So I want you to step in on the right foot, halfway between the chair and you. We're gonna lift that back heel, straighten the arms, take the heart up, which will take your gaze up a little bit. Great stretch down the front of the body here, yeah? All right, let's go back, same thing. Take a breath, step in on the other foot, which would be the left, I think. Lifting up my back heel is up. And then back down. Again, right and left. Upward facing dog. And down. Last one. All the way up. And then step that back foot in. Come back to mountain pose. All the way in. Very nice. Deep breath. And bring the hands into the heart. Step the feet out so they're about hip distance apart, no wider hip distance apart. The feet are lined up with the legs of the chair and the toes are turned out to the corners of your imaginary box. Hands at the heart. If you don't need the chair, don't use it. If you do, put one hand on it. I'm simply gonna bend my knees and ride right back up. So a little bit of a bend, not enough that's gonna take me forward, okay? Just a little bit of a bend, squeezing the glutes, rise right back up. Coming down, let's come into our goddess pose. From here, we open into goal post arms. Very nice. And then reach up, just a little tap. Try to stay in this bent knee and reach up. And I'm dropping my hand down for a little bit of balance. Use the chair if you need it. It's okay. So a little bit of side work here. One more. Last one, let's leave that arm up there, send the other one up, and here we come into our star pose. Nice and wide, a deep breath. Tailbone draws to the ground. Now, don't hit your face on the chair. We're gonna circle sweep down, come all the way back up. If you're going a little bit deeper, you may wanna go ahead and step back. It's up to you entirely. Let your breath follow this. Inhale up, exhale back down. It's one of my favorite exercises. One more time. All right, I'm gonna to add to it. I'm gonna take that left arm over to the right and right arm over to the left and back to the ground and right back up. All right, let's do that again. Over to the side, use one hand on the leg, is fine. All the way down and back up. Oh, I need to do it again, <laughs> it feels good. And again, all the way down, all the way back up. Turning your feet inward from where you are, which is back, I hope. You're gonna reach into the chair. We're gonna take some cat and cow. Eyes up, heart forward. Exhale, scoop the belly around the spine. Sink into the knees here. And then again, it almost looks like upward facing dog here, right? Exhale. Tucking that tailbone down towards the ground too. We'll take that stretch all the way into that low back. From the upper back, middle back, and then when you get that tailbone turning towards the ground, it goes down, that stretch goes down. And again. All right, one more time. And down. All right, step in on the right foot. Let's step back on that left foot. We'll come away from the chair in our warrior one. You can use one hand on the chair if that feels better to you, or two, you decide. Breathing deep. I'm gonna bring the hands together, the thumbs, I'm gonna cross them here, and then try to pull them apart. Yeah, so you really work the arms triceps, shoulders, I'm trying to pull my hands apart here. Forward fold, all the way back up. Hands find the chair, and I'm gonna pop that back foot up, flex the foot, okay? Sole the foot to the back wall, and I'm gonna take the arm out in front, and then if you can, bend it, all right? We're gonna reach towards the ceiling with that arm. Both hands on the chair, bring that knee in, up, around, and down. And again, just circling it around in the hip. Nice. Two more. And last one. All right, slide it back, toe on the ground. Left arm up. We get a little stretch in this hip flexor right here. Let's go back to downward facing dog, stepping back. Breathe. 
tip it on the left foot, so we're going to turn that right toe out. And again, come away from the chair in our warrior one. We're going to cross the thumbs and try to pull them apart. The framing your face, you can keep them in front or up here. Depends on your flexibility in your shoulder. This can be a lot of work. Shoulders are tricky, but make them work. Make the arms work here. Breathing deep. All right, we circle sweep down. Come all the way back up. Reach for the chair, let that back foot pop up and bend the knee. So the sole of it's going to the back wall. I'm gonna reach and maybe even bend the elbow here. Reaching up, we call these sunbirds. We do this like this other time, but the sunbirds right here like this. Lovely, lovely. All right, hand on the chair. And we're gonna circle that knee in, up, around, and down. So the knee comes down, up, the knee goes back. And again, really feeling that in the hip. Two more. Last one, all right, extend it out. Keep that heel up in the back. One hand on the chair. We take this little baby arc over to the side. Beautiful. Back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and finish that on the other side, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Oh. All right, hands back on the thigh muscles to reverse swan dive all the way back up. Forward fold, let's come down the center still with that nice flat back. You're gonna inhale halfway rise with that nice flat back and circle sweep all the way up. Lovely. Let's reach to the back of the neck right here. So you get a little stretch right here. You can drop the elbows down if that feels better to you or lift them up, whatever feels good. Just get a nice stretch and then maybe lift the heart for a little bit more. All right, circle out, check out, grab a drink of water. Just make sure I did turn it on. I did. <laughs> I took off some apps last night, so hopefully you'll continue. Won't stop on me in the middle. All right. From Mountain Pose, let's move through some um, warrior postures together. All right. Heels right underneath the sit bones. Put a little micro bend in the knees. In fact, let's take a little bit deeper. We're going to reach into chair pose and then come into powerful pose reach to the ceiling. I'm going to show you what I did from the side, okay? So what I did is I bent my knees and I simply reached forward. You on the side saw that. And then I'm going to hinge at the hip and come forward. Bring the heart forward there, yes. Reach to the ceiling and back down. All right, reach, bend the knees. Hinge forward at the hips and reach. All right, we're going to go all the way down this time, all right, from here. Reach, sink, up, oh, sink straight first, yeah, and then hinge. Circle sweep down, come all the way down, lift up on that right foot, slide it right back in, we're gonna come into our warrior two. So knee comes over the ankle, back leg is straight, I'm gonna turn everything to the right wall, okay? Head over heart over pelvis, and let the arms lengthen away. And let me get back to where I need to be. <laughs> Head over heart over pelvis. I'm looking over the two piece fingers. And let's just look to the back wall and look over the two piece fingers. Yep. Come back to the front. Now, head over heart over pelvis. I say don't be anxious. So in other words, don't lean into this. Get everything backed up, all right? Deep breath in, arms up. Drop that right arm down. Let it find its way to the inside of your knee there. Yeah, turning the gaze. Little skyward if you'd like. Breathing deep. Are we good? Everybody has their, let's see. We're all backwards here. <laughs> you know, that's because I turned around, I think is why. I think it's why. Okay, let's come back. Right leg, right leg. Oh, y'all facing the chair. Right, or are you? Yes. That's because I turned around, I think. Okay. Right leg to the chair. The other right leg. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> okay, opening the arms. So you're looking at the two-piece fingers, and you're looking right over your chair there. Look to the back. Is that arm parallel? If you're able to get it parallel, then by all means do. Look back to the front. That right arm needs to be reaching over your chair. 
Bingo. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna take both arms up and we're gonna drop just the right arm and it's gonna find its way either to the chair or your knee. Looking to the left wall, maybe turn the gaze skyward. That's entirely up to you. Find a sense of calm now that you've figured it out, all right? All right, we're gonna swing that left arm down and around. Land yourself right back into warrior two again. Palms to the seal, or arms up. And now we're gonna drop that left arm to the back leg. Turn towards the right arm, and if you need that arm for balance, get to the chair. All right. Reaching up. And those left fingers creep down the leg. Maybe they creep into your back right pocket. It's up to you. But that front knee remains over the knee ankle. So maybe even give it a little bend. We always tend to straighten it. Okay, come on back to warrior two. We're going to straighten that front leg. And now push the hips to the back wall. Just push the hips, that's it. Come right back up, keeping straight legs. I'll show you. Push the hips back. All right, nice. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into triangle pose. Push the hips back, and now we windmill the arms. That chair is right there if you wanna use the chair, or let the fingers creep down towards maybe the thigh, maybe the shin. I'm looking to the left wall, maybe turn the gaze skyward, use the chair anytime you need to. Breathing deep. Let that arm come back to the chair. I'm gonna sink into that front knee, get that back heel lifted on the left foot. And now just for fun, we're gonna extend that right arm skyward. Back to the chair, step both feet in. I wanna see if we can try this on the other side. <laughs> okay, so from mountain pose, just envision we have warrior two, we're gonna take extended angle, we're gonna take reverse, we'll take triangle, and then we'll take high lunge, okay, with a twist. All right, so back goes the right foot, and we windmill that right arm around, so that left knee faces the chair, the left hand goes over the chair and everything turns and faces the right wall. So head over heart, over pelvis. There's nothing that's looking to me at all, all right? Beautiful. Now, you have to follow my words, right? We're gonna take both arms up. Hands meet over the head or in front, doesn't matter to me. And you're gonna drop just the left arm to the knee. Yeah. That right arm is gonna stay there. Trace your collarbone with your chin and maybe look towards that right arm. Firm up those legs now. So press the feet into the earth. Use the chair if you need to. Draw the inner thighs together will help this. All right, we're gonna return to our warrior two. We're gonna take both arms up again. Heel of the hand comes together. And then we're gonna drop the back arm, the right arm. Trace the collarbone, looking to that left arm. Breathing deep. All right, level this out, straightening that front knee. Now, look over the two peace fingers. Push the hips to the back, keeping the legs straight. Just push the hips back. And this is where we windmill the arm. That chair is there if you need it. Hand to the thigh if you can. You need a hand on the chair and a hand on your hip. That's okay for me too. Yep. Lovely. Beautiful. Again, maybe trace the collarbone and look towards that right arm. Firm up the core, firm up the legs. All right, both arms find the chair. Now, we're gonna lift that back heel front knee over the ankle, and peel that left arm skyward. Yes. High lunge with a twist. I'd like a high lunge with a twist, please. <laughs> All right, let's find the chair. Let's step back to downward facing dog. Breathing deep. 
hands travel back to your knees, bend the knees, reverse swan dive all the way back up. And slowly move with intention, come right down the center. We're gonna take this halfway rise, squeeze in the shoulder blades, circle sweep into that beautiful chair pose again. We're gonna come into powerful pose, so pressing the elbows back. Can you still see your toes? If not, push the hips back, all right? And rise up, reach to the ceiling. Lovely. All the way back down. Shake out. Very, very good. Let's grab a drink of water. Okay. Now. Just a little balance around the side of the chair. A couple of things. I don't know if I was yakking at you on Monday about this. But when, you, when you're walking like this, yes, you use the knees to do this. But once you start to slow it down, you start to use the core muscles more and the feet. So let's just go sort of a quick march. All right, and then we're going to start to slow that down. It's like we slowed the video and put it into slow motion. All right, so the upward gets slower and the down gets slow, right? You feel these core muscles really fire on and the feet start to really work. And again. Two more. And then we're going to hold this outside leg up and hand on the chair if you need it. Turn the knee out to the side without the body turning. All right, so you're going to use the outside of that leg to draw that knee out. We're going to draw the knee down towards the ground and then we're going to lift in the front. So I have a little micro bend in my supporting leg. Now, here's a great variation, and it's just on the ground. I'm just trying to get that rotation in the hip. All right, so you work where you're comfortable. You can keep that foot on the ground. You can lift it. You can try it without a hand. <laughs> Lots of options. One more time. All right, so now we go to the back, and I'm gonna reach forward. And then I'm gonna come to the front and reach back. So, are we okay? <laughs> so what happens when y'all start to get old you start to walk very protective and you sort of lose that gait so with the chair for balance we're just going to work on what it feels like to walk really big <laughs> all right you can swing it if you'd like easy momentum but you can swing it you can lift the knee but if you were really walking you'd be really hustling, right? So that's what we want to get that range of motion back into. Yeah, I can do that again. All right, one more time, and then bring that knee back up, out to the side, and let's let it travel down to our tree pose. So from a lot of activity to a lot of stillness. And remember, tree pose can be sapling pose with the ball of the foot. I don't know if you can see that on the ground. That's fine, too. Hand on the chair, it's just fine. One at the heart. And then should you find balance, maybe one arm, two arm. But that foot is firmly planting into my leg, and the other one's firmly planting into the ground. All right, and slowly, all the way down. Back to mountain pose, spend one second there, and then shake out that leg. Okay, we go to the other side. What did we start with? I can't even remember. Was it this? No. Was that what it was? The left. Our left. Your yes. right. <laughs> Up, around, and down. And again. Again, this is fine on the floor. Just a little practice in that rotation. So you're going to use the outside of that leg to draw the knee over to the side. Okay. Doesn't matter. You'll still work those muscles. Again. One more time. All right, so now we're going to extend that leg to the back, and the arm to the front, and then swing the other way. Touch it is just fine. And you can keep it touching on the ground, or you can add that little swing. Just careful with momentum doesn't take over, all right? Spend time in each place here. But it's like you're trying to walk big. <laughs> and again. 
one more time. All right, when that knee comes up, let's bring it back up. We're gonna take that rotation to the side. Foot comes around the leg and find your tree pose. And that foot may need to travel to the ground, that's okay. And you may only have one branch to your tree today, and that's okay too. One more breath. Okay, and with intention, toe ball heel goes down. Let's take a forward fold and circle sweep all the way back up. Clasp your, clap your hands and back. Back to downward facing dog. Very lovely. Any movement you need here now, one hip up, a little wiggle in the spine, whatever you need feels good to you. And then come back to that neutral spine, whatever that means to you. That tailbone may be pointing to the back wall. You've lowered your heart as much as comfortable on your shoulders. Your knees are soft, a little bend in them. You've tipped that tailbone, sit bone to the back wall. Push through the feet, almost so you can lighten up on the hands. All right, so there's more work for the legs and the core than for the hands here. Take the gaze over the chair, and we're gonna walk into it. And grab a drink of water. All right, let's sit back down, good work. Did I start late? <laughs> Was I just talking too much today? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna to try to get into that um, fascia on the outside of the leg. Right leg up and over. You know, if this is not part of your um, practice, then uh, just you can certainly leave the foot down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my left foot over a little bit more towards the left, and then I'm going to sit up extremely tall. You're going to feel a stretch here, and if we want to take it a little bit deeper, I'm going to turn towards the right wall. I even have my hand here for just a little gentle pressure. This fascia that comes down from the hip all the way down into the knee and get sore sometimes. Turning the gaze if you can, sit taller if you can. Right. All right, come on back to the front. Let's get that foot line back up, ankle under the knee. I'm gonna take this other stretch here, my figure four, and this foot stays flexed. And again, sit extremely tall and maybe hinge at the hip. So I don't think I'm going to push on this. I don't think I'm going to pull down on it. I'm just going to see if I can let my hips and everything relax to really enjoy this stretch. So let your attention come to that wherever you are in this stretch. Try to let both legs just relax using your breath. that leg out in front, heel on the ground, hands on the back of the chair. Just lift the heart to the ceiling. The head is not going to fall back. You're just going to lift the heart to the ceiling, squeezing the shoulder blades inward, holding onto the chair lest you fall out. And then let's release both feet on the ground. We're going to take the other side. So I'm going to leave my right foot out there over a little more towards the right. Cross this leg over, foot stays flexed. And then sitting to the front and with that nice tall spine maybe we'll take a little twist to the left wall and again I have my hands away from the joint it's sort of drawing that muscle fascia and fascia back and away from the hip walk that foot back underneath you a little bit more with this leg up so this foot should be underneath the knee here and again get into your position do have to keep this foot flexed so this doesn't happen remember how I told you that makes my knee flip out so 
I have to be sure that it stays flexed. And then just see if you can let the muscles in the hips, the legs, just relax. It takes a few breaths for me to do that. If you get them to relax, maybe roll a little deeper into this by rolling towards the top, the front of the sit bones if you haven't already. Out in front, toe to the ceiling, grab hold, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart, belly in. Right. And both feet on the ground. I'll take them about chair width apart. We're going to slide down just, uh, we've got this nice big beach ball here now. And I say that because otherwise I don't want you to hinge forward too much. I want you to round over, give that back a stretch. Belly pulled in, breathe into the back ribs. My hands are right here at my shins. Back breathing, and exhale, roll right back up. Left hand crosses over, just let that right arm reach back, maybe towards the top of the chair, maybe the side, maybe back, whatever works for you. And then through to the other side, same thing. I'm gonna hold onto that knee, but I'm not gonna pull it in. I'm just gonna reach back. Keep it on both sit bones. Keeping the legs firmly planted, knee over the ankles, knees over the ankles. Come on back. All right, slide on back to the back of the chair. Both legs out in front. We'll circle. Wrists wiggle in and out, in and out, in and out. All right, so let's just drop the feet down and we're going to give ourselves a little massage. Shoulders through the biceps forearms, and then the fingers. Maybe pull out each one. Remember when you get that manicure, do that. And then the other side. All right, and just gently push the fingers down. Yeah. Curl the fingers in and pull back. All right, push back into the back of the chair, settle on in, take a deep breath, open your eyes wide. Like I just said, my car's got stolen out of the garage again. And then scrunch them. Yeah, see? <laughs> just like I, when I said that. And then scrunch up your face like you just tasted something really bitter. And then just let that those face muscles relax all over. Jaw, eyebrows unfurl, the ears fall down. <laughs> and everybody's eyes are closed now. Let your attention come to your full deep breath. It's a way to exercise those muscles, those breathing muscles. to your very own happy place, wherever it is. corners of your mouth draw back towards a bit of a smile here right. 
And if you can't think of a happy place, it's right here, right now. Let your fingers and toes wiggle, some movement to them, the wrists, maybe the ankles. And hands together at your heart, eyes open, soft gaze. Remembering a heart at peace shall give life to the whole body. Namaste, friends. Namaste. Namaste. So lovely. All right, so I am going to get together a schedule for you all. I will not be able to start Silver Sneakers next week, but I am in the process of the certification. The only reason I have to take it is so they'll pay me. <laughs> Um, and then it can be advertised and other groups might come to, other people might come to. So that is coming. I'm going to say maybe the second or the third week of March. I have a sub for a couple of days while I'm away, so that's good news. One other question, who of you, when you are sitting back against the back of the chair, can't quite reach the feet to the ground? How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah, okay. So I have, I have some yoga blocks um, that I use for Pilates. I'm going to bring them in for your feet. And I'll have them here if anybody else feels like that. It's amazing how that just sort of relieves a lot of pressure kind of on the back of the leg. It'll be much more comfortable to you. I meant to ask earlier. Have a wonderful week and, yeah? Yes. It's Wednesday. Yes. All right. And uh, here comes. And not yet. Not yet. No, I mean yoga. Oh, yeah, yes, we'll have yoga on Monday and Wednesday. Next Wednesday is actually Ash Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We're going to, because oh. this is a church. We're going to have an Ash Wednesday gathering. We're going to have Fosnuts. <laughs> I also call it job security, so come and stay us. <laughs> so we'll see you next Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. so, so yes, yes. <laughs> I know, I know, so we'll celebrate here. It is an Amherst Press. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe she has it, maybe she doesn't, but it's called a bucket handle meniscus. Well, I go like this and I pull up on this side and I push down on the other side. The strange thing is I was sitting in the car. I could, I could get back in child's pose, and it was tight. And my bad, but I was doing I was sitting in a car one day. Somebody was driving me up the back. The only thing we don't really get around. I said, you know, this is the strangest thing because I can sit like this and I'm just fine. And I went to get out of the car. I went from not being able to walk it's to I couldn't run. It's, it's fun. fun. It's it's fun. fun. It's fun. Mine was not even. She can walk. Hello. Yeah. Is she limping? Because I couldn't, I couldn't get my legs. Did I get that chair there? If you just come and try to go straight. Don't do it. 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 I'd be curious to know. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> and where are you going? She'll let us, she'll let us know. Where am I going? Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. You know, he's 36 years old. It's not going to be a thing. Maybe 10. Well, we said, I got to come because I have some action. So, so we I are going. Really I'm okay. I'm okay. Just, I know. I know. You'll yeah. have nobody else from this camera. She won't have anybody from church. She's kept the same. But it is. Yeah, I think it might be there. And um, so a few friends. And then we'll have a gathering here on the first place. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry you missed that conversation. Are you working today? See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend.